Hello. We are on week seven. I can't believe that uh, that we have actually completed six weeks of of learning biomimicry. Um, you know, uh, actually, um, I'm getting a little little nostalgic, if I may use the word, because we started this personally. Mrinali and I started this biomimicry journey about about. Two, less, less than two years ago, of course, Professor Shiva Kumar and Professor Satya Shadri were of great help. And we, we never once imagined that in such a quick time, we would be able to speak to so many of you. It's very encouraging to see your responses, the questions that you're asking. And it's, it's always nice to know that something that, that you have learned and you're sharing with other people is now ready to be shared by all of you with other people. Therefore, we create, we create ripples of, of knowledge. Uh, of course, I will, I will get more nostalgic in the next, in the next session, which is, will be our eighth week. I just thought, you know, I just thought I'll share with, with you the joy that I, that we are feeling when we are teaching biomimicry to all of you. Um, as usual, let us start with a little of a recap from the last time. In class five, in 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 week five and six, you you probably learned one of the most transformative pieces of knowledge for the future. For instance, because the design principles of nature is not yet very popular. But we also know now as biomimics, I think I can call all of you that, we also now know as biomimics, the design principles are fundamental to transformation, that the design principles will, will, will help us ask what should be the design that we should employ in the future. The design principles are the ones that nature has has used time it's time tested it works so the question is how long are we as human beings going to take to actually adopt the principles of of design thinking of 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 how to design from nature and I don't know how many of you are already thinking about, about using one or two or three principles in your own life, right? So they were, they were the design principles. Uh, we, also, <clears throat> we also thought that if ever we do a biomimicry 2.0, then we should have much more discussions around the design principles. You, you also... Um, you also learn systems thinking and you would have started by now to become a systems thinker. You would have started to see the connections. I'm, I'm sure every time food is being delivered to you, you're seeing the connections between the delivery boy and the, 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 the restaurant and the, the, the bike that he's using and the bike and the connection between the bike and the fuel that the bike is, is, is using and thereby how that is causing a climate problem. You would have seen the connection between the restaurant boy and the restaurant, the delivery boy and the restaurant owner and the chef in the restaurant and the food that's coming, the, the, the vegetables that are coming to the restaurant, how the vegetables are coming, which farm they're coming from and how the farmer is dependent on rain, which goes back to climate change, etc. So as a systems thinker, you will start to look at the elements, the interconnections, the interdependencies, and the purpose of the system. I'm sure you're having great fun learning systems thinking. I'm hoping that you have started to be a big picture thinker. You also had, you also learned the, the cats in board, you know, the consequences of, uh, consequences uh, in systems thinking. Uh, you know, uh, short term, long term, unintended consequence. I'm sure you're going back in your own lives and looking at 
decisions you made that have had unintended consequences. I can give you lots and lots of examples of unintended consequences in my life, right? And suddenly everything comes together. The whole, the whole purpose of systems thinking is to be able to understand something. When I understand a problem, I'm no more frustrated by it. And that for me has been the biggest benefit of systems thinking. I have been able to understand why things happen. 